there's a threefold purpose behind practicing first fruit. To honor God as creator and provider. They would bring to God the first thing that came up out of the ground to recognize him as creator and as provider. You know, the scripture says that one watereth another planteth, but guess what happens? God gives the increase. I don't care how good your water is. I don't care how good your seed is. Unless God get involved in your sowing, nothing is coming up. So when we bring God the first of what comes up, not all that comes up. So I want to make this clear that you don't bring the total first fruit. You bring the best of the first fruit. So they would take a sheaf of their harvest, of their grain, bring it to the priest, and they would wave it before God as saying to God, we recognize you as the creator of this and the provider of this. Secondly, to exercise your faith to bless God now for the increase he will bless you with later. See, it takes faith to say, I don't see the rest of this harvest, but I'm going to take the best off the top, knowing and believing that God is going to bless the rest. And that's what you want to look at. You want to believe that God is going to bless the rest of my year for what I sow in the beginning of my year. That's why I share in the first fruit practice. It's because of the fact that I believe that God can use what I have to create what I need. I believe that though I cannot see the other 11 months that will be in this 2012, that if I give him the best in this first month, it will guarantee that the rest of the months will follow the first month because the first month is always an indication of what will follow. I trust God that if I give him something now, that he will bless me later. Thirdly, to receive from God the promised benefits for practicing first fruit. God has some promised benefits in the word of God for those individuals that practice first fruit. That's why I'm practicing it. Not to be righteous with God, not to try to manipulate God, but there's a covenant agreement that God said, I will do certain things for individuals that will practice first fruit, not out of law, but out of love. And so out of my love to God, I believe that if I do what God says, because keep this in mind, a seed is a God-given instruction with an irrevocable blessing attached to its completion. I'll repeat myself. A seed is a God-given instruction with an irrevocable blessing attached to its completion. So when you do what God has asked you to do, you can expect God to do what he said he will do. So I want to encourage you that if you feel the Holy Spirit speaking to your heart to engage in the practice of first fruit, go ahead. I'm going to do it. And let me say this in a closing testimony. For the years that I have practiced first fruit, I have always had enough to carry me into that new year. I have seen without question the benefits of God. And even this year of 2012, I am experiencing the overflow of God. And so is my family. And you can too. God bless you. And let's practice the first fruit together because he is worthy of everything we can give to him. God bless you and thank you for allowing me the time to share with you about first fruit. Have a great day. I'll see you in service.